Welcome to Toggle.io. In this video, you will learn how to map your IoT devices and receive real-time alerts when they enter a predefined geofence. To begin, if you do not already have a device, you will need to add one. You can add a device by selecting a connector and network and entering the device information. In my hypothetical application, I have a GPS tracker on a truck, and I want to receive a notification when that truck is within 20 miles of its drop-off location. For my purposes, I will use the device emulator to simulate the event of a device sending its data to Toggle.io in JSON format. Note that JSON is a required format on Toggle unless you intend to configure a custom payload parser. If your device is already sending real data, you can skip this step, but make sure to know the name of the variable that stores your device's location information. My device variable is called location. I'm also going to add a tag to this device so that I can access it within a Blueprint dashboard. Next, I will create a Blueprint dashboard and a Blueprint device. After creating this Blueprint device, any device in my account that has a tag with tag key GPS and tag value tracker can be accessed within this dashboard. Now I can add a dashboard icon and a map widget. To create a map widget, select the Blueprint device and variable that holds the location data, and choose the appearance, colors, and other features of your map. Next, I will configure my geofence. To do this, I'm going to select the Blueprint truck as a Blueprint device to store the geofence data in, and I'm going to store it under the variable name geofence. Now I need to add a tooltip title and events. The event identifiers, in this case X and Y, are referenced in the analysis script, so make sure they are not arbitrary names and that they correspond to the names referenced in your script. You can also allow users to edit the geofences and create polygonal geofences. Now that my map is configured, I can start creating geofences and connecting them to events. I'm going to add one geofence around Durham and another around Kerry. If I click on the geofence, it will display the tooltip that I wrote earlier. It's important to note that the geofences themselves will not do anything on their own, but they can be used by an analysis script to send notifications, emails, SMS messages, or any other applications that you can program. With this particular script, which is linked to in the description, the location variable is the variable from my GPS device. And the geofences are referencing the geofence variable that I created in the map widget. For this script, I need to add an account token. To generate that account token, go to your profile and either generate a new token or copy an existing token.
Now I need to create an action that runs this analysis script anytime my GPS device sends data to Toggle.io. After creating this action, if I send a package from my device with the latitude and longitude of Durham, I will receive the notification defined in my analysis script. And going back to the map, I can see that the device is well within the geofence. To learn more about geofences, blueprint dashboards, or map widgets, visit Tago.io or visit community.tago.io to read the explanations and tutorials written by our developers. Thank you for watching.